Nissan Xterras and Frontiers come with one of two possible rear axles, the C200K or the M226. The C200K is made by Nissan and comes with all non-Pro 4X models with automatic transmissions. The M226 is made by Dana and comes with all Pro 4X models and non-Pro 4X models with manual transmissions. So why two axles? What's the difference? The most obvious visual difference is that the M226 has 12 cover bolts and the C200K has 8. Both axles use the same sway bar and mounting brackets. If you compare the images using the sway bar as a constant, you can see the M226's center section is about an inch larger in each direction, hence the larger cover with more bolts. That is because the M226's ring gears are 1.1 inch larger than the C200K's and the carrier is shaped differently. Neither axle is known for ring and pinion failures. Nissan uses the M226 with manual transmissions because of shock load. Spider gears are the weak point in every axle simply because they are the smallest gear set. They mostly break from shock loads like dumping the clutch, bad shifts, or hard compression braking, none of which happens with an automatic. The C200K differential has two spider gears like most axles, but the M226 has four. Simply put, it's harder to break four gears than two. In these applications, neither axle is known for spider gear failures, but it is the most likely gear set to break in any axle. All Pro 4X models get the M226 because of the locker. Nissan does not make a locker for the C200K, only ARB from Australia does. Nissan could theoretically use them, but ARB makes limited quantities, they require compressed air, and they are expensive. The M226 is the same rear axle that was used in Jeep Wrangler Rubicons from 2007 through 2018. The locker is inexpensive, Dana makes a ton of them, so the M226 makes sense for the Pro 4X package. However, most Xterras and Frontiers are automatics without the Pro 4X package, meaning more Xterras and Frontiers have the C200K than the M226. And yet Nissan shops report more problems with the M226 than the C200K. The C200Ks are so trouble-free that it's actually hard to find posts about them, even on Nissan forums. This is the reason for the C200K's durability, a unit bearing. The bearing, race, and outer seal are all one closed unit that is permanently sealed and lubricated. By comparison, the M226 is a conventional semi-floating axle, meaning a bearing pressed on the shaft matches a race pressed into the housing. The bearings are lubricated by the axle fluid. Most failures of the M226 are due to loss of fluid. They are prone to leaks. It is the only weak point in an otherwise excellent axle. Even the one I've used in this video is covered in oil. It was leaking from the pinion. Fortunately, leaks are both obvious and easily fixed, and with basic maintenance, most M226s never fail beyond the simple leak. By comparison, the C200K is not prone to leaking, and the unit bearings would not be affected by fluid loss even if there was a leak. Shaft strength is not an issue in either axle. The C200K has 1.31 inch thick shafts with 31 splines. The M226 has 1.41 inch thick shafts with 32 splines. They are both good strong half ton truck axles and we routinely see built up trucks with both of them on the trails in Colorado.